Somebody said that, that adversity introduces a man to himself or a woman. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go real well, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. And when we begin to understand and know that, accepting that reality that, that we will never ever have things just on an even kill all the time, that you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. See, anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships, the children are acting normal, <laughs> business is successful. Anybody could be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. Am I correct? Yeah. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. When I was facing some challenges, I had a guy say something to me, and I suggest this is one of the first things that you want to do when you're facing a challenge. You want to get unstuck. Evaluate where you are. Look at it, assess yourself. Assess yourself and assess the situation. What brought you there? What role did you play? Earl Nightingale had a saying I like. He said, all of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. I lived in a car for three years. All of that that I was going through, that I was tripping with, that I did not appreciate or understand, I understand it now, because I'm on the other side of them troubles. The route you on right now is the route you got to take. And it's very uniquely yours. This thing you going through, this just uniquely yours. You just gotta understand you ain't the only one. You ain't the only one going through it. Now in the order that it's gonna happen, a lot of pain in my life, no more than nobody else. I just had a lot. But I learned along the way, everything that's happening to you is God is processing you. Every difficult moment you're having, he just processing you. That's all he's doing. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. And if you need to be tough when you get to where you're going, then he gonna toughen you. If you gotta be more caring along the way, he gonna let you have some trials come your way that's gonna have to produce that in you. What happened in my life was getting where I've gotten to today and where I'm even headed to, I had to be tough. So he toughened me along the way. I had to learn how to appreciate a lot, so he took everything. You won't necessarily succeed at everything the first time you try. That's okay. Some of the most successful people in the world are the ones who've had the most failures. J.K. Rawlings, who wrote Harry Potter, her first Harry Potter book was rejected 12 times before it was finally published. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. He lost hundreds of games and missed thousands of shots during his career. But he once said, I have failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. These people succeeded because they understood that you can't let your failures define you, you have to let your failures teach you. You have to let them show you what to do differently the next time. So if you get into trouble, that doesn't mean you're a troublemaker. It means you need to try harder to act right. If you get a bad grade, that doesn't mean you're stupid. It just means you need to spend more time studying. No one's born being good at all things. You become good at things through hard work. You're not a varsity athlete the first time you play a new sport. You don't hit every note the first time you sing a song. You've got to practice. I have failed far more times than I've succeeded. Far more. You, you will never succeed more than you fail. That's not how it works. You know why? Because failure is a wonderful teacher. It's the only way to learn. You have to fail. 
Failure is a part of the process to becoming successful. I tell people this all the time. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player in the world, he took 946 game-winning shots. 946 times since he was in high school, the ball has been in his hand to take the game-winning shot with no time on the clock. He has only made 146 of those. He has missed over 700 times, but he has made 146. You know what they write about? When he make it. They write about when you make it. So guess what? When you get through failing, 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 all you gotta do is make one. All you gotta do is make one. So when you fail, it's a part of the process. Keep going, you're supposed to fail. Who you know that gets it right all the time? That's impossible. You have to fail. Matter of fact, when you fail, be glad about it. Every time you fail, you one step closer. So every time you fail, say, whew, got that out the way. Go to the next one. Fail again, okay, I got two out the way. What's gonna happen is if you just keep, keep swinging, you're gonna get a hit. A baseball player gets paid millions and millions of dollars for a 300 batting average. That means out of every 10 times he goes to the plate, he only hits the ball three times. They're millionaires. They only hit it three times. Man, please. I can't wait to fail. And to have a sense of resilience and be able to examine what is it that I did not succeed at? Why didn't I succeed? And what do I need to do better? I've found that most people fail in life, not because they aim too high and miss. Most people fail in life because they aim too low and hit. And many don't aim at all. It's pretty easy sometimes to, to feel beaten when you're faced with all those issues and all those problems and they all hit you at the same time. But let me tell you, that, that doesn't mean give up. In fact, it means the opposite. It means it's time for you to fight harder, to dig in. It means it's time for you to go on the warpath.